also, guys, if you don't mind my very plush pillow here, today I am knocking out three videos in one foul swoop. And today, starting off with the first video, I am going to be talking about my spring slash kind of early spring slash cold winter hammock camping and bushcrafting setup. Now this is actually a setup I've been working on for quite some time trying to put it all together and it's finally come together and I'm finally doing a video a little while after I put it all together and tested it, made sure it all works and it's nice and it's going to keep me warm uh, and I'm going to be doing a video talking about it. Now, as always guys, please do not forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe for more awesome videos like this. Now let's get into it. So as I'm chilling out on my twin hammock here, there's enough room for my stuff and for me to just hang out here. So now that spring is kind of actually winding down and we're getting into late spring, early summer, um, I'm going to be going over this setup. Now, in last summer, I did a video uh, called my like, complete summertime hammock camping setup. And in that video, I talked about my hammock, what I use for a tarp, and the tree straps. Now, those things have remained unchanged. And for those who are new to this setup, the hammock I'm using here is a hammock bliss twin or double hammock so it can hold two people if I need to. Then I have an underground quilt company Winter Dream 11 tarp which is an all year or four season tarp. It completely encases this entire setup and then lastly I'm using hammock bliss tree straps which are actually off the camera. You guys are off the viewfinder or the camera so you guys can't really see them but that's what I'm using to hold this entire thing up and tree straps are tree straps. So I'm not gonna go over those in excruciating detail because it's just not that important. So now as to what's changed or what is different now as it's falling, trying to fall out of the hammock. <laughs> so now to go over what's different as it tries to fall out of the hammock. Now of course with a hammock, hammocks are great but the one problem with a hammock is the fact that they can get a little bit cold. Even with a tarp over it, it uh, encasing it from the wind, it can get a little bit cold. So what I've done to fight that, and actually what I've found to keep me very warm, now I don't go out in the blisteringly cold temperatures, and the hammock setup, this one is good to about 20 above, maybe a little bit cooler than 20 above. The actual bag here is rated to 12 above, so pretty chilly. But, so the actual whole setup here is with the completed setup uh, for my winter or spring, just cold season or cold weather setup is one, I have a Thermarest Parsec 20. And the Parsec 20, obviously as the name kind of denotes, is a 20 degree bag. And that's what you guys are looking, back at. looking at here. This is a 20 degree bivy bag. And then under it is a Thermarest Neo Air. And this is a really nice mattress because not only does it uh, provide me some elevation off of the very bottom of the, uh, what is this, hammock, but it also, this uh, Neo Air here in and of itself has an insulated layer to it. So I actually have two layers of insulation. I have my bivy bag plus this that both return heat and it's actually pretty crazy it feels like when i'm laying down in the bag and on this pad it feels like there's a blanket underneath me and a blanket on top of me so it's like i'm entirely encased in like two blankets worth of heat and so it's very warm very very comfortable it is honestly an extremely comfortable setup and i think i'm going to roll in a picture uh, i got one picture just kind of like a point of view picture um from when i was just hanging out in the in this whole setup and I just like took a camera and shot it from my point of view because I thought it was pretty cool and I have some other pictures of me just hanging out in the hammock or point of view pictures from hanging out in the hammock so anyways uh, that is basically it there's not too much to cover like I said the new additions are this Parsec uh, 20 bag and the Neo Air now what I will say about this setup that I like as you guys can hopefully see here is that I uh, there, this uh, parsec comes with attachments to attach the bag to the actual um, pad and that's really important when you're working in a hammock because with a hammock when you hop into this thing it all kind of is moving and shifting around so I like the fact that this parsec kind of allows you to attach the bag to the pad so that there's no movement between the pad and the bag so, or sorry the pad and the bag so these two 
two are kind of like one unit in and of themselves. So anyways, guys, that's really... So anyways, guys, that's really it. Sorry for the awkwardness of this wanting to fall out. It is better when you're actually laying in it. But anyways, guys, that's really all I have to say about the uh, springtime or cold winter time setup or cold climate, cold weather setup. That's basically what I do for my sleeping bag and sleeping setup for bushcrafting because I still really honestly love um, <clears throat> having a hammock. And this hammock setup for hammock camping or bushcrafting is really solid. I really do like the Parsec. Expect a review on this here in a little bit. I'm going to be doing a review on the Parsec because it is an awesome bag. Anyways, guys, now, or that's all for now. God bless, and I'm out.